en kiddo. Gilgamesh, my dear friend. How is this possible? Is this a joke, librarian? My beloved Gilgamesh, I don't know how this is possible. Perhaps the gods took pity on me and allowed me to speak with you at least one more time. Don't listen to him, Gilgamesh. It's a lie. Enkidu is dead. This is just one of Merlin's pathetic tricks. Gilgamesh, I don't know if this is real. You're still alive, and you still have a heart. So don't listen to me, or that demon. Listen to your heart, and let me speak to you from there. Oh, Enkidu, not a single day has passed without me thinking of you, deep in my heart. Do you know what this means, man? This means that even if the gods took my life, I survived in the hearts and minds of those who loved me. This is true, but what's the point of it all? What will remain when the gods take my life as well? You already know the answer, Gilgamesh. Nothing will remain. Nothing but the eternal oblivion. So join me, Gilgamesh. No, Gilgamesh, don't listen to him! I wonder the exact same thing, man. What will remain of our friendship? What will remain of our heroic deeds? Nothing. All will go back to oblivion. Join me as well, Enkidu. You and your friend Gilgamesh can again be as one. No, Enkidu. Don't listen to him. Gilgamesh, do you remember when we made our solemn pact of friendship? Of course I do. Right after our epic fight. Do you know what I admired the most about you during that fight? It was not your strength, and not even your fighting prowess. I admired your courage. Where is that courage now? Courage is needed to face danger and to perform great feats, my friend. But, right now, there is no feat before me worth doing. Couldn't be more wrong, man. Have the courage to hand our memory down onto the hearts of the people of Uruk. So that, even after your death, you can speak to their hearts as I speak to your heart now. So that they can tell of our deeds to other peoples and nations. And so that men can learn from our stories and teach their children. Are you still brave enough to accept this challenge? Will we become lost to oblivion, or gain immortality through our deeds? Even I understood that, Gilgamesh. You came here to learn the secret of immortality, and Enkidu has just handed it to you on a silver platter. What a pathetic trick, librarian. Come on, Gilgamesh. A clever man like you can't be fooled that easily. I feel that my time here is up. Farewell, my friend. Gilgamesh! Oblivion. Come to me, Gilgamesh. Now all is clear in my heart. I won't join you. What? Enkidu and I will live forever. It's a lie. You know it's a lie. No, you are the liar. I will go back to Urk, and I will order a scribe to write the epic tale of Enkidu and myself, so that all future generations will know of us. Until the end of time. No, that's not how the story is supposed to end. No! No!
Mr. Walsh, your big day is finally here. Your last day of work. From tomorrow on, you can finally enjoy your retirement. Oh, yes. Although, I'll miss my friends. Your friends? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I just meant the characters in the books of this library. Oh, I see. I guess you're waiting on me so you can close up the library. Yeah, but there's no hurry, Mr. Walsh. I have just one last thing to do. Please, take your time. I'll be waiting for you outside. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.